are living in the century of cities and these cities that we live in face both stresses but also shocks. How do we create cities that bounce back, that absorb these shocks and that create a framework that allows the residents of the cities to be at their best? If you've ever watched a movie where the Little League team that no one thought had a chance of winning actually takes home the trophy, you've seen resilience in action. You've seen what resilience can mean. Resilience is what makes us human, and it's what makes us heroes. The Resilience Action Initiative offers a useful definition. It talks about the ability to survive, adapt, and grow in the face of challenge and uncertainty. We must take steps now to build the resilience of our structures, of our systems, of our communities, if we want to avoid the kind of intolerable loss that we've already seen to property and life over the coming decades. This is something that cannot be solved by any single government or no matter how large a corporation. This has to be a multi-sectoral collaboration and that's what we hope can be achieved here. We are optimists. We believe that we can make a dent on these issues through partnership, through collaboration, but it cannot be business as usual this century will also be a rest century. Reimagine, replan, redevelop, renew, recycle, reduce, and hopefully we'll have an urban renaissance. A NASA astronaut who lived in space on the space station for over a year told me the story of the first time he looked out the window of the space station. He had this complete transformation, and he came back to Earth with a much greater appreciation for this planet. So I was inspired by that meeting and got me thinking, how could I bring this transformative effect uh, to those of us who can't yet go to space? And that was really the birth of Bella Gaia. People are the most vulnerable. So it's not just about infrastructure, but it's about growing their capacity and having a more sustainable transformational development. If you don't address these risks, in the end, people will lose their ability to live. You need to not just get information to the community, but to get them to act. We need to prepare for the hazards that we know and what's coming in the future. We need to adapt to our changing environment. And we need to transform ourselves, our communities, our societies, in order to better be able to, to face these challenges ahead.